G'day, Big Botster here. In this video, we're going to talk about the gun stats, seeing that a few of you were asking after my recoil video. Before we get into this one though, there's about 3,000 of you legends coming back to each of my videos, and you're doing that by sheer will of the YouTube algorithm. So instead of relying on the algorithm, why don't you just hit that subscribe button and then you'll stay up to date with my future videos. Click. You guys are absolutely Hello. smashing it subscribing to the channel, so let's keep up the momentum and <laughs> see what we get to, shall we? I do really appreciate everyone that does subscribe and I also try and reply to every single comment that's left on my videos. Anyway, let's get into it. The first stat for our weapons is pretty simple. It is the damage of the weapon. For example, our HK419 does 31 damage per shot. And that comes into play when you think about enemy health. So everyone with no armor has 100 HP. This is nearly doing a third of their health in one, one bullet. So the damage represents how much a single shot will deal in damage to your enemy. So for the HK419, it sits at 31 damage. So just below a third, the HK will actually take four shots to down someone. So that one's pretty simple. So as you see, when we shoot this target dummy in the chest, down in the middle center of the screen, you will see how much damage you are dealing. So it says hit with 31. Next up we have armor damage, which is currently not being used at the moment. The armor damage stat, it is armor that enemy players are wearing. Currently it's just disabled for balancing issues, so that it might be coming into the future. So then some guns might be better and more effective against armored targets. So it just adds another level of depth and another level of gameplay, but yeah, right now they're just uh, trying to figure out how exactly best to do it. The next stat, Al-Armor damage. This damage is actually towards light vehicles and light armor. So things like Humvees, quad bikes, those type of vehicles, the HK should deal about six damage, where something like an SMG doesn't have the stat at all. Then if we look at something a bit heavier, like the M200, we actually see another stat, which is H armor damage, which is heavy. Heavy will actually deal a small amount of damage to armored vehicles like tanks, for example. Even though it is five damage, but five damage is still five damage. But we go back to the HK. Now we have the recoil section, with vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and first shot kick. I explained recoil a lot in my last video. Essentially, vertical recoil will make your gun kick upwards, and horizontal recoil will make it kick side to side. The first shot kick is pretty much a multiplier on your vertical recoil for your first shot being taken. It essentially adds more vertical recoil to your first shot, but then the vertical recoil will take over from there. Next we have velocity, is how fast a bullet will actually travel. One way to display velocity is actually with a moving target. So velocity we can see a little bit better with a longer range scope. So we can see that the bullet is actually moving pretty quick towards the target and we only have to lead him by a tiny amount. You can also see this by just shooting down the range at the long range targets. Just seeing how long the bullet takes to travel. Essentially velocity is just the speed of how fast the bullet will be going. Accuracy is a bloom effect for where your rounds are going. So I've switched to the vector with a compensator, which is one of the worst accuracy loadouts at 59.81 accuracy. It might be hard to tell, but can you see how all the bullets are going crazy and going all over the shop? Are they going left, right, left, right, and all around? So by firing, you should be able to see the bullets and traces move from left to right to left to right. That's because my accuracy is low with the weapon. So my bullets aren't actually going to go exactly where my sight is aiming. At close range, it really doesn't matter. You're going to hit most of your shots. When you get to more long range engagements, your bullets are going to spread all over the place. Just be aware that if your shots aren't connecting and you feel like you are aiming at the target, maybe look at the accuracy and see if it is pretty low and try and increase it if that helps. Next you have your fire rate. That one's pretty simple. It's just how fast the gun will shoot. A good example of this will actually be the Scorpion Evo. The Scorpion Evo has a fire rate of 1200, which is one of the fastest in the game. Where if you compare the Scorpion to one of the slower fire rate guns in the game, the Scar H, 
Sound spread is pretty self-explanatory. That's how far the sound of your gun will be heard. 600, I'm assuming that's actually gonna be 600 meters. So that's how loud your gun will actually be heard from that distance. You can suppress this by using suppressors which will decrease it significantly. You really need to keep in mind about sound spread if you are trying to flank and trying to be sneaky, because if you do have a loud weapon, people will turn and hear you pretty easily. Up next, we have muzzle flash scale. That one's pretty self-explanatory. This is just how bright uh, the end of your gun will be when you fire your weapon. You can see all the flashing around me, that's all caused by my muzzle flash. So I've chucked on the Ultimax with a heavy barrel, which increases the muzzle flash. If we compare that with something like the PP2000, which has zero muzzle flash with a suppressor, you can see that there's no flashing of light and it's not gonna give away your position. So suppressors are really good for flanking, so you're not visible and you're more quiet. In the next section, we have a stat which has probably caused the most controversy because no one really knew what it did, and that is control. Control is actually your weapon sway. So you can slightly see that my gun is bobbing up and down or swaying. That is where the control stat comes in. Control is also responsible for how responsive your mouse movement is to your weapon. Up next we have aim down time, that one's pretty simple, just of how fast you will actually aim down your sight. Running speed is also an easy one, it will either just make you a tiny bit slower or a tiny bit faster. So with the running speed stat, the higher the number is actually better. As you can see with the SMGs, they give you about 1.1 movement speed. The HK will only give you a flat one. And as you can see, if you make the gun heavier with more attachments, the gun will actually reduce your running speed. Reload time, you want this to go down. So for an example, the quick A mag will take off 0.65 seconds on your reload. So you want that number to be as small as possible. And the last one here is your draw speed. So that's how fast you're pulling your gun up and it's ready to fire. One way to look at this is the draw speed of my decked out Ultimax. See how long it takes for me to draw the weapon out before I can start shooting? Compare that to something like the MP7. Switch, start shooting, and switch back. Start shooting straight away. And last but not least, we actually have our damage drop-off graph, which tells us our effective range of the weapon that we are using. So with the HK419, about after 100 meters, you're gonna start seeing significant drop in damage. And at the 300 meter mark, you're only gonna be dealing 11.4 damage for each shot. This guy's at 60 meters, so we should have full damage of 32.44 or whatever it was. This guy is at 151, so we should start to see a bit of a damage drop. He takes 24 damage. 0.88. So it's a good eight damage reduction going from 60 meters to 151. So then if we try and hit a target at 250, it is only doing 13 damage. For snipers, this is actually the opposite. You're actually rewarded more with a longer range shot with the damage going higher for the further the distance. That's pretty much all you need to know about the stats. Essentially, you want damage as far to the right as possible. <laughs> It doesn't really matter at the moment for armor damage or light armor damage unless you're planning to take on light vehicles or tanks with your primary weapon because they're the stats you need to know. Essentially, the more damage, the better. Yeah, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and first shot kick, you all want these to be on the left-hand side. The lower is better for them. Velocity, you want all the way to the right. The higher the velocity, the faster your bullets are going to hit your target. Accuracy, you also want further right. It just means your bullets are going to travel and go where you want them to. Fire rate, a big indicator of time to kill. The more to the right, the more lethal the weapon will be, so you want higher the number for the fire rate. Sound spread and muzzle flash, you want these to actually be lower. The higher the sound spread and higher muzzle flash, the more likely you're going to be giving away your position, so you want these as low as you can. Control after testing, 
it really doesn't matter too much. Don't really worry about this stat at the moment, unless something changes in the future. Maybe just for snipers, keep it in mind. If, if you are having trouble controlling your sway when sniping, you want to increase your control, as well as maybe just with the marksman rifles. The higher the control, the better. So you want this to equal one. Aim down time, you want the lower, the better. So that's actually the amount of milliseconds that it's taking you to aim down your sight. So the lower the number for aim down your sight, the better. Running speed is a bit weird, but it's actually the higher number, the better for the running. Think of it as a speed multiplier. So at 1.00, you're gonna be moving at normal pace, where if you have a 1.1, then you're actually gonna be moving 0.1 times faster, if that makes any sense. So running speed, you actually want higher. Now reload time, you want that lower. That's how many seconds and milliseconds that your reload time will take. So you want that to be on the left hand side. Your draw speed, bit confusing again, but that is more like a multiplier again. You want your draw speed to actually be higher. The higher the draw speed, the faster you're gonna pull out your gun. It's a bit confusing, but you have this image now, so you know what's good. And last off, just your damage range. Just keep in mind roughly how far you can shoot with your gun. Pretty much all assault rifles and everything are effective to 100 meters. Anything further than that, you really want to try and either get closer or change up your weapon. That's pretty much all from me, guys. I hope this video does help you out with knowing the stats of your weapons. I've actually learned something myself in making this video. If you guys were the same and actually learned something, please drop a like. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to counter the YouTube algorithm, you need to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> So instead of relying on YouTube to give you my videos, they'll be in your subscriptions. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I really hope this helped you out. If I did miss anything or if I did get anything wrong, please blast me in the comments letting me know. Blast me nicely, at least, please. <laughs> we are on to the second week on Twitch drops, so I might be streaming. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And if you're looking for a clan to join, I also have my clan open to anyone and everyone. That will be pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Fuck it, smoke grenade. Big